So our mission is uh, data for a public good. Um, over the last over the last ten years, with the advent of the internet, the uh, advent of social media, um, we now have screens in front of us at, at all times. We get inundated with these with these data messages. Those messages can lead us to making really bad health choices. So we want to uh, study that data, harness that data, and, and use it to make people uh, healthier. We collect from a variety of social media platforms, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, WordPress. A lot of our grant funders, uh, CDC, National Cancer Institute, they want quick answers. They don't want to read a 20-page or 30-page report. They want to see that graph, be able to look at it, and with some, with some just quick points, understand it. We're doing this analysis on people talking about quitting smoking on Twitter. So we took over a year of data, 13, 14 months of data and charted it out on a histogram and, and you can see the peaks. What we're telling the CDC and those tobacco control organizations, you know, this might be a good time to, to reach out to reach out to these people. They can effectively use their use their resources by by looking at the behavior of Twitter users. The value is the insight. It's the insight that when you look at a at a graph uh, that uh, you get an immediate response to, to taking, uh, you know, 1.7 million tweets and sticking it on a on a histogram and then charting you know, weekly to see where where the peaks are. It just pops out, pops out that, at them. And I'm big about making things look good. I think it really, I think it really matters. That might be vain, in a way, but I I, I think it's the way you present your data really matters.